Here once again, the Mopar. Even though round one is almost over, we've got some exciting matchups ahead. The next racers are pulling in two of their lanes. It's Monza and someone else. Who do you want? 20 bucks? In the left hand lane with a long burnout. Driver of the mistress, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Big Daddy Hailhoy. First round, drew uh, Monza, 14th pair out. We're not worried. We're going to put him in the trailer, then 405 to the house, kick his ass. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the 405, this is Monza. And he's coming off his best showing last week, making it all the way to the third round, looking to build on that momentum right here. We draw the mistress, Sean Will Hoyt, for round one. Ought to be a good race. His car's fast, my car's fast. We'll see what happens. In no prep, we may only race for 660 foot, but this series is a marathon of events, which requires non-stop repairs, and sometimes a driver is ready to compete at the next event, but his car can't make it to the line. I just broke my car. Is it broke, bro? I saw the farm bird here. Oh, you're in the points. I'm in the points. So you won't get any points if I don't race. When this happens, our drivers are permitted to enter the event with a backup car. Why are you in that? Hey, I'm gonna race you in something. But once they've entered, they can't switch cars mid-race. This allows drivers to still earn points. This is John Doe out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And potentially make a run even if the primary car is down and out. The reason we pulled out John Doe is because track Doe was broke and we needed the points. And it just goes to show you how important every single point is to these drivers. So we suited the car up, put the big tires on it, and we hopefully got enough points to keep us from having to race our way in next race. Here we go, here we go. Monza on a solo cattle fest there. Sean, Big Daddy Will Hoyt with issues right off the get-go as the car never made a move. Stuck. Stuck. Bad way to lose there. But Monza advances or moves into round number two. Good luck, huh? Yeah. You need to outrun my ass. Right pass. Got our burnout. Everything was good. Backed up. Went to go stage up. Damn gas pedal broke. Can't control mechanical brakes. So it still pisses you off. It is what it is. You can get mad and slam your doors and throw your helmet and do whatever. But hey, you know what? It, it, it happens, and we're here to race another day. Peace. OK, folks, second to the last race here in round one, Eric Bain versus Ronnie Pace. Last week at Maple Grove, I found a bad problem with wiring, so I actually hurt the motor. That's why I have the green one here this weekend. I've had it for 10 or 12 years. It's a pig. It's 3,500 pounds, so it really has no business even being here. But uh, I wanted to come here to get my points so I don't have to race my way in. In the left-hand lane, Scott's the daredevil, the pilot, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Bain in the Boosted Ego Mustang. We've got an exciting one coming up. So we go up there and draw chips, and we draw our teammate, James, Reaper car. You know, we've been helping him out. His car is looking good. Our car is looking good. So we're going to put two tune-ups in both cars, and you better not be late on the tree, because I'm going to cut it down. The next racers are pulling into their lanes. Bad 
part about drawing the brooders, one, that car's stupid fast. The other thing is, brooders are helping me tune the car, and that's one of the reasons we're hauling ass like we are. Now, I gotta face them. So the rear of those left side leakage of fluid over here looks like possibly coolant all over the track. They're gonna give a solo, I believe, all to right, the right man. side. Mops, rags, underwear, t-shirts, whatever you got, get them out. Oh, help them. Help them. No, no, we race. Okay. We race, no matter how long it takes. Reaper cuts it off, says, let's take it, let's wait. How about the sportsmanship, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Reaper. Yeah. Could have easily put it in the beams and take the wind light, but he says no. Let's wait, let's race. All right, there we go. The front end going back on the Vixen. All right, I need you guys to get loud. Sportsmanship costs him the win. Well, there you go. You saw the car roll forward. It would not hold on the brake, and the Reaper trips the lights and goes red, bounds it away. And the Bruder brothers move into round number two. They had an oil leak on the car. I shut the car off. Nobody came out here to watch one car run down by itself. If it takes him a half an hour, a half a day, I don't care. We're going to run this race. When I get on the brake, the car in sport turn the red light on. It's just something that happens. I mean, I, I, I like you pulling that lever inside the James Bond lever trying to get out of this race, but. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, better take this thing home. I'm trying, but we're going for it.